What is troponin? Troponin refers to three different proteins. Troponin C binds calcium and transports troponin I so that muscles can contract. Troponin T binds troponin proteins to muscle fibers. The heart is essentially a muscle and damage to the heart causes it to release troponin into the bloodstream. Troponin levels in the blood are normally very low, but injuries to the heart can cause the levels to increase significantly. Troponin tests typically measure levels of troponin I or troponin T in the blood as a way to check for heart damage. Why do doctors test troponin levels? A troponin test can help detect an injury to the heart. A doctor may order the test if a person is experiencing possible symptoms of a heart attack, such as chest pain, shortness of breath, a rapid heart rate, lightheadedness, fatigue. A doctor will not use elevated troponin levels alone to diagnose a heart condition. They will also take into account the person's other symptoms and may use other diagnostic tools such as a physical examination or an electrocardiogram or ECG. Troponin testing however allows a doctor to assess the extent of any heart damage which can guide treatment decisions and help determine if current treatments are effective. What is the normal troponin range? Troponin levels are usually so low that standard blood tests are unable to detect them. Even small increases in troponin can indicate some damage to the heart. Significantly raised levels of troponin, particularly if they rise and fall over a series of hours are a strong indication of a heart injury. The range for normal troponin levels can vary between, le between laboratories, so it is best to discuss the results with the doctor who ordered the test. Laboratories measure troponin in nanograms per milliliter of blood. The University of Washington's Department of Laboratory Medicine provides the following ranges for troponin eye levels. Normal range below 0.04 nanograms per milliliter of blood. Probable heart rate above 0.40 nanograms per milliliter of blood. Having a result between 0.04 and 0.39 nanograms per milliliter of blood often indicates a problem with the heart. However, a very small number of healthy people have higher than average levels of troponin. So if the result is in this range, a doctor may check for other symptoms and order further test before making a diagnosis. According to lab test online, Many labs in the United States are now using a high sensitivity version of the troponin test which the Food and Drug Administration FDA approved in 2017. This newer test can detect elevated troponin levels earlier than previous versions. Doctors usually order a series of, series of troponin tests to monitor how a person's levels are changing over time. Causes of high troponin levels Very high levels of troponin typically indicate that a person has had a heart attack, which can occur if the blood supply to some of the heart muscles suddenly becomes blocked. Lower but elevated troponin levels may point to another diagnosis. Some causes of elevated troponin levels can include sepsis, which is a severe and potentially life-threatening reaction to an infection entering the bloodstream, kidney failure or chronic kidney disease, heart failure, chemotherapy-related damage to the heart, pulmonary embolism, heart infection, myocarditis, which is inflammation of the heart, heart damage from using recreational drugs such as cocaine, 
a traumatic injury to the heart such as from a sudden hard blow to the chest.